Hey everyone, welcome back to part four of reorganizing the Lego room. This episode is easily the biggest one that's going to be shown here on the channel. This one is going to take a very long time. I wouldn't be surprised if the last video clip is like four months from now because, well, here I'll just tell you. This week I'm going to be completely restructuring how I organize my Lego parts. And one reason it's going to take so long here in a minute I'm going to show you is a lot of my parts are sorted and a lot of them are not because I've run out of room. Since then I've cleared out a lot of space as you guys have seen on past episodes. I've gotten a new sorting system under here which is phenomenal. I've got some more bins. So I definitely have the space to make all the parts fit. I just need to find a new way to sort them in the most efficient and effective way so that I can find pieces really easily. So with all that said I say we just jump in and start looking at what our options are. So the situation here is we have a ton of parts that are sorted. Oh, the door is stuck again. Oh my goodness. Yep, nope, that's... There, I win. Okay, so we have a lot of parts that are sorted. They're in all these buckets here. And then we have parts... Kind of parts, broken piece stuff, half-built stuff. Parts... 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 And I think this is empty, yeah. So we have basically five bins of parts here, sorted stuff, loose builds, and then lots of random parts in here, and some of these aren't even sorted. So my first dilemma is, do I sort all the parts because they won't fit in the buckets, the buckets are full, or do I start making a sorting system for the stuff in the buckets and then sort that stuff later? I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do as of now, but when I come back with the next clip, I'm sure I'll have a better idea of what I'm going to do. So I decided to go with the strategy of actually sorting through each of the buckets in my closet, and then we're going to take all the pieces that are kind of sorted and go from there. So this is bucket one. This is box number two, making some real progress here. A lot of gray, a lot of gray. And the third and final box has been fully sorted, and I'm watching some Agent Carter. Pretty good show. So once I get all of these put away, then we're going to move into the next phase where I actually re-evaluate how I'm going to be sorting the pieces. So we're going to jump right into that, and hopefully I actually have enough room for all of this because this is... Huh, a lot more than I anticipated, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Okay, so we're moving into the reorganizing of the, <laughs> well, organizing part of this video. So, what I have here is all the colors that I find to be like filler brick, aka colors I don't usually use that much for their own builds. Green, maybe, but mostly just like plates. Um, so I think what I'm going to do here, and I haven't completely decided, so I'm going to sort all these out by like plates, which is this kind of piece, and then by building blocks, which are these kind of pieces, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so as you can see, I've got um, a bunch of colors, but uh, four basic piles. So we have one buys of building blocks, two buys of building blocks, and then plates, and then tile pieces, and then tiles with studs. I've got basically four separate piles for each color and then just like big building block pieces. And my hope is that each of these four elements can all be fit into one of these. Wait, no, one of, one of these. So we're going to empty these out, try that, and then next I think we're going to be sorting building blocks of the black, the grays, and the white because those are colors that I use pretty frequently. Okay, we got round two here. We've got all the grays, which, I mean, light gray just dominates. And then we have like big pieces here. Lots of colors. We're gonna leave this pile because it's probably gonna expand. So we're gonna try to fit all of these into bins under here. And then I think next, we're gonna just work on the white, tan, and black with the same kind of organizing. So we're just going to throw this all in and move on from there. Okay, we've got the rest of our piles here. This is the last of all the colors. So now we have all of these kind of bricks sorted in under here once I get these there. And then we're going to move on to narrowing down stuff even further because now... 
we have a ton of these that are empty or going to be empty soon and then we can start putting more and more specific pieces in there. I've already moved all the tire pieces into here. We've got some more paths, we've got slopes, we've got lots of different smooth tiles and one buys and we've got it for gray, dark gray, black and white. So we're gonna organize those and really this only ends once I run out of buckets so I just need to see how much more I can condense around here. All right, we got the rest of the slopes and the rest of the tile pieces. We're gonna sort these up and get back to some more piece finding. Just a few more key piles here, ladders, one by twos. These pieces are really important. I like having them all together. Some more one by twos. Any piece with any kind of hole in it and then mountain building pieces. Last thing we're gonna do today is put all this Technic that doesn't quite fit in these two buckets. Hopefully, in the one, maybe. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Now we have all of it together, which might make it a little bit trickier. But now we have two more buckets empty, and we'll talk about that to close out this video. That's gonna do it for this week of updating the Lego room. I'm really happy with the progress that I made. It actually didn't end up taking as long as I thought it would, and part of that is because I'm actually gonna have to extend this part of the process. I haven't even begun to start on all the small pieces, and as you can see, my drawers are quite literally hanging open because there's so many pieces in them. So now that we've gotten most of the like bigger pieces sorted away, we're gonna move on to the small stuff, and that's gonna, that's gonna take a while I have buckets here just overflowing with small pieces so that's going to be the next step and there's going to be some other stuff too so stay tuned for the next update coming again i never know but i'm going to get started on that pretty soon i'm very excited for that so make sure to stay tuned for more episodes coming out soon if you guys have great ideas let me know and i will try to respond to all of you as fast as i can anyway that's going to do it for today see you guys later